there is a very good chance that if you homeschool your kids all the way through high school, they are going to miss out on some things. And yeah, that's why we do it. That's why we homeschool our kids through high school so they can miss out on some things. Hi everyone, I'm Pam Barnhill. I help homeschool parents create doable systems, beat burnout, and bring more joy to their homeschool day. Okay, so let's talk about this whole idea of are my kids going to miss out on things if we homeschool through high school? And the answer to that question really is it depends. And I think a lot of times it really depends on the personality of the child. I have two children who are either in high school or who have just finished high school. They have very different personalities. One of them is an extrovert and one of them is an introvert. And the extrovert has absolutely missed out on nothing when it comes to the high school experience where the introvert has chosen to miss out on a few things. And so let me explain. My daughter just graduated this past year. We had a graduation ceremony. She was recognized and honored at the church with all of the other graduates. She's gone to summer camps every summer. She's done so many different activities. She's been to prom three times and actually is going again this year as well. So this will be her fourth prom that she's attended. And, you know, it, it's just been a great experience for her. And she has chosen to do all of those things. She's been a retreat leader for um, our church retreats and just so many different things. On the other hand, I have another kid who is still in high school, so we don't know exactly everything he's going to do, but he's already indicated, hey mom, I really don't want a graduation ceremony like Olivia had. I would prefer to do something smaller. And he doesn't like to go to do all the things. He might be going to prom this year with his older sister, but only because she asked, only because she said, hey, a group of us are going together, would you like to come? And she's actually going with a boyfriend who is still in high school. And so with homeschooling, it's always so fluid as to what you do and what you don't do, but the opportunities are out there. And the prom that they're going to is a homeschool prom. Olivia actually went to a homeschool prom and a public school prom last year. And she said the homeschool one was so much better. So when it comes to those kinds of things, when it comes to school dances, when it comes to graduation ceremonies and things like that, there are these opportunities, either because they're available and you can get together with other homeschoolers and do them, or like our graduation ceremony, we just did that for ourselves. We said, you know what? This is exactly what Olivia wants, and so we're going to make this opportunity for her, and we rented out the hall, at our church, um, you know, as church members, we got it for a very reasonable price and we had family come and we had a few different people who were special to Olivia speak a few words and it was a lovely graduation ceremony. So there are either opportunities that you can find for your teen or there are opportunities that you can make for your teen. Now, something that none of my teens have been interested in so far have been group sports or team sports. There are actually homeschool team sports teams in our area. So if they wanted to play basketball or volleyball or something like that, there are some homeschooling teams that are available. Also, some of the local private schools will allow homeschoolers to play on their teams with Tim Tebow laws all over the country. Sometimes you can play with public school teams. And then there's always travel ball teams as well. So if your child is really into team sports, if you're looking, there are those different opportunities for them to participate in those kinds of things as well. Let's think about some of the things that they won't miss out on by not going to high school and that's things like bullying and peer dependence, this over dependence on peers. While you want this kind of natural pulling away from the parents during the high school years, the parents still can be a very integral part of your teen's life. And I like the fact that my teens will come to me and talk to me about things. They have very strong peer friendships. And I will be honest, sometimes building those friendships is not as easy as it might be if they were in school. I mean, we have to get kind of intentional about it. So my kids make friends mostly at our church. Um, there are any number of different 
kids there from different backgrounds, different lifestyles, um, and it's a very diverse group. And so they make friends with all of the kids who are there and they've been uh, you know, on, on retreat teams with those kids. They've gone to camp with those kids. And for better or for worse, some of the relationships have been rocky and some of the relationships will probably be lifelong relationships, but that's where they have made their friends. And then also when the kids were younger, we had a homeschool co-op that they were in. Now that's something that we decided not to continue when they were in high school for no particular reason other than the fact that we kind of outgrew it. But homeschool co-ops are still a really great way for your kids to make friends with other homeschool kids. And then when they are on these travel ball teams, when they're taking dance classes, when they're in karate and different activities like that, that's when they get to really interact with kids from all over the place, lots of different backgrounds, public school, private school, homeschool, and can really focus in on some of those different kinds of relationships. But at the end of the day, our kids come back to us as their core group and they are not so peer dependent that they're embarrassed of, of me or my husband when we go out and don't wanna be seen with us and don't wanna spend time with us or talk to us. And we actually love that. So there's a very healthy pulling away and forming those peer bonds, but there is also a balance with family is still really important to us. And I think that's one of the greatest gifts of homeschooling. You know, when I was a public school teacher, I saw so often kids who were so peer dependent and they were not making wise choices because of the influence of that peer group. So I love the fact that we can provide that healthy balance between peer dependence and family dependence and let the kids have a safe place to land, but kind of stretch out and build those peer groups as well. And then of course it goes without saying with the bullying, nobody likes to be bullied ever. I don't think it's something that people need to practice in order to be able to withstand it later in life or any such nonsense as that. I'm just really happy that that's a situation that my kids get to miss because they're homeschooled. Okay, so back to things the kids might miss out on. And some people would think, well, what about socialization? If your child is homeschooling high school, are they going to miss out on opportunities to socialize? Well, I've just spent the last two or three minutes talking about all of the ways that they do, in fact, interact with their peers and have formed strong peer bonds. But socialization is also about learning to get along with people of all different age groups. And how do you treat the elderly lady who is in the choir with you at church and how do you treat the five-year-old who runs up and wants to play with you and might be a little bit of a pest? And how do you treat strangers that you meet on the street? And I tell you, there are way more opportunities to interact with the elderly and with young people and with strangers when you're homeschooling than when you are in a class of same age peers all day long. And so kids really do get an opportunity to interact with people of all different ages, all different kinds of people. The job is one of the ways that my kids have really, really had the opportunity with working with people of different backgrounds, different personalities, different socioeconomic groups. And they've gotten lots of practice with those kinds of interactions working at their part-time jobs, which I happen to think is a really great thing for teens to get. And then finally, the last thing you might be wondering, will my kids miss out if they're homeschooled, is will they miss out on college? And the short answer to that question is no, absolutely not. There are many colleges out there that are really actively recruiting homeschoolers. Most of your standard state colleges are very happy to take your money and admit your homeschooler no matter what. And every once in a while, you will run across a college that's going to be a little persnickety about accepting a homeschooler. And in those situations, I would just ask myself, do I want to give my money to that institution anyway, unless they are absolutely the best place to offer the program that my child wants to participate in. And then you simply jump through their hoop. But colleges are actively recruiting homeschoolers and there's no reason in the world why your child would miss out on college just because they were homeschooled. So I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Is there anything at all that you feel like your child might have missed out on by being homeschooled? Or on the flip side of that, do you feel like there's something that 
that they got to do and participate in that they might not have gotten to do if they were not homeschooled? Is there something they had a little bit of extra opportunity or time for because of the flexibility that homeschooling high school offers? And maybe the idea that you leave will give somebody else the spark of an idea that they could use with their kids as well. So if you are thinking about homeschooling your child all the way through high school, you might be wondering which curriculum should I use? I've got a video right here that talks about some of my favorite easy to use high school curricula.